everyone, welcome to 10 Minute Judgment Episode 5. We're about to do Dante's Inferno, the Divine Edition. And uh, I guess I'll start off right away by saying uh, I've played the demo of this for the PlayStation 3. This is the PlayStation 3 version, obviously. I played the demo of it and I really enjoyed it. But keep in mind that I hadn't played God of War 1 or 2 yet. So, you know, all these people comparing God of War to Dante's Inferno was, you know, people saying that this game is totally derivative of the God of War series. That was, you know, beyond me because I hadn't played the games. But now that I've played God of War 1, you know, on the collection, this should be a more interesting experience for me, you know, seeing all the similarities in the combat and whatnot. But, uh, no, I do not want to sign in. So let's see, they've got the obvious uh, options, downloadable content right <laughs> right here on the main screen, so hopefully they plan on using it. Let's see what the special features are. Oh cool, look at that, the soundtrack, all the stuff you can listen to right from, right from beginning. That's pretty cool, and I like that, it's got a nice little... Uh, <laughs> scary image to play while it's uh, going on. Look at that concept art. Okay, you have to unlock that. Cool. And look at this, a timeline of Dante Alighieri, uh, the, the poet of the original Dante's Inferno. Oh, and that, this is the actual poem. That is awesome. Well, that's cool, you know, that that's that's pretty cool that, that even though they're, they're using the Dante's Inferno, um, uh, what do you say, uh, story loosely, like this game is loosely based on that book or that poem, that's pretty cool that, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of honoring it. Now, what is this? Trials of St. Lucia. Maybe this is DLC that's coming out. Uh, you know what? I don't want to watch another trailer. So let's start the game. Alright, calibration. I'm good with that. Alright. I'll be a zealot. So yeah, I really liked the demo when you fought, you know, Death, you know, the Grim Reaper. Uh, it really reminded me of what Castlevania, what a Castlevania game could be in this generation. Uh, you know, you've got the, uh, you know, uh, Kojima-helmed uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow coming out soon. And it, this was like, this got me excited for that, you know. And of course, if you played the first Assassin's Creed, you know some of the story of the Templars and... King Richard and whatnot, and I really like the story of this game, you know, I mean, you know, if you believe in all this stuff, I mean, how many people went to hell for real for believing in the wrong causes back in the Dark Ages, you know, so uh, I'm gonna, I'm, attempt, I'm attempting to skip this, because, you know, you guys want to see the gameplay, not the cinemas, uh, and I'm not allowed to, so, yeah, this is, uh, this is the cinema you, have all, you all have seen in the demo, and if you haven't seen it, well, I can't skip it, so I'm sorry. But, um, it pretty much talks about how, how, how this cat, uh, you know, worked, worked for the wrong side, you know? And he thought what he was doing was right by enslaving and torturing people that were prisoners by, by you know, the government or the city or whatever. Uh, and, you know, of, of the church, should I say, I'm sorry. And, uh, very frightening image here. Uh, and, and, you know, he killed and tortured these people, and, uh, it ended up being the wrong thing. So I guess, you know, he's atoning for his sins. Um, so this is, uh, that little anime scene, I, this, you know, that's the one part of the demo I said just does not fit in with the rest of this game, but, uh, it's a little, like, a Metalocalypse clips here. Or Death Clock, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, Metalocalypse. So yeah, I mean, a lot of people were killed in, in the Dark Ages for for this, you know, for believing in, in the wrong person or, or the different person. So, well, the graphics have not improved at all since the demo, but that's fine, you know, because it looks nice. This looks like a... it looks better than Heavenly Sword, you know, but probably not as good as God of War 3. Very cool, you know, just, oh, look, trophy already, how awesome. So, uh, simple, you know, combo system here. 
Uh, I believe the, the evasion is the same. You know, you hit the right analog stick to, uh... Oh my god, am I gonna get a 50 hit combo? Oh, there we go. Oh, no trophy, come on. So yeah, yeah, right stick uh, evades really nicely. Oh, I did get a 50 hit. So, I love this evasion. It's so much quicker than God of War. Look at that. Perfect. So, like I said, I had never played God of War when, when I first played this, and I was really impressed. I'm like, wow, this is, this is fun, you know? And, you know, if it's true, if this game does rip off God of War really badly, then that's good, you know? I mean, why not? You know what I'm saying? If, if you love a, a genre of game and, and some game rips it off blatantly but does it well, like, who, who gives a damn? I mean, that's, that's great. Oh, am I going to get a trophy now for... Oh, am I going to do 100 hits? See, look at this. This is... I'm not going to lie. I mean, this is kind of button mashing, but, um, you know, as the game progresses, you know, you're going to unlock more skills and, and whatnot. So look at that. 110 hit combo just by slamming on some buttons, and, and that was fun. You know, I enjoyed it. You got to take this game for what it is. You know, it's a absolutely bloody and brutal, uh, you know, hack and slash uh, action adventure game, you know. So you got the double jump in here as well. A nice little climbing thing here. And I like this dash a lot, man. It is really nice. So, and, I, and there it is. There's the pivotal moment. You die. Well, yeah, you're about to die. And this is... When I saw this, I decided, wow, I have to play this game. So awesome. Yeah, like I said, this got me so excited for a Castlevania game, because, you know, you all know you fight the Grim Reaper in every Castlevania, but I saw this, and I said, man, imagine if this was, you know, Simon Belmont and, or Richter, you know, fighting against death. I mean, look at the background. This is awesome, man. You know. Not as not as awesome as my as my terrible gameplay skills either. Oh yes, that's the block button. Okay, <laughs> so I'll do the block. And uh, so pretty much, unfo unfortunately, what you're seeing is, is what you could have seen a few months ago in the demo. But it's um like I said, if you were wondering if the graphics are going to improve, they're not really improved, but they were they were nice to begin with, anyways. And I, you know, I'm really like that, that they were confident enough to include the first, you know, experience of the game as the demo. I mean, that shows confidence in their product, you know. They didn't just say, oh, let's take some, let's take some random level that looks nice, you know, and then the real game, you know, it sucks, you know. I mean, this is just, what you played in the demo a few months ago was, was what I'm playing now, you know. And that, to me, like, to me personally, that's an indication of how good the rest of the game is going to be. Man, I am sucking really bad, though. Okay, I will admit, right now... Well, I, I think I'm about to die. You may see 10-minute judgment where I get killed. Actually, I, want, I don't think that's the point. Yeah, I, I'm supposed to kill him. <laughs> Alright. There we go, there we go. Oh, man, I hope this video runs out before I die. But anyways, Dante's Inferno... I like it. I like it a lot. And I died. There you go. <laughs> I, uh, I actually died in the, in the first, in the very first mini boss battle. But, you know, you have no skills yet. Damn, you know, how embarrassing is that, guys? It's not even on hard and I died in the first boss. Please don't laugh at me, guys. But, anyways, I look forward to playing it. I look forward to unlocking more skills. I look forward to seeing all this you know, stages of hell and whatnot, and, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully I'll get better at the game. I don't know, I beat this guy in the demo, I don't know what happened here. But anyways, Dante's Inferno, check it out, the PS3 has the Divine Edition with some special features, I highly recommend it, so Dante's Inferno gets the BMI seal of approval. This is Simon D.I., I'll catch you guys next time.